Hi guys, I'm the Jacobian Dev and in this video we'll be going through how to host a Marine Stack app on Heroku. I've created a new folder named Revit Forge MongoDB Full Stack. Here I've added my two apps, the Autodesk Viewer, which is a React app, and the Mongo server, which is a Node.js MongoDB server. First I'll rename Autodesk Viewer to Client. I'll then copy everything in the Mongo server folder and add it to the Revit Forge MongoDB full stack folder. The server folder should be empty. I'll then delete the Mongo server folder. Next, I'll copy the path to the Revit Forge MongoDB full stack folder and in the CMD, I'll change directory into the folder. I'll then open VS Code. First, I'll navigate to the server.js file. I'll change the use cloud variable from false to true. Next, I'll navigate to the DB config file. Here we need to add the cloud MongoDB connection string. I'll navigate to MongoDB Atlas. After creating an Atlas account, you'll be able to create a database cluster. Once that's done, the next step would be to connect to the database. For the add connection IP address option, I'll allow access from everywhere. You can always change this later. Next, I need to create a database user and provide a password. I'll select an auto generate password. I'll then set the username to Jacobian Dev. I'll then proceed to create the database user. Next, I need to specify the connection method. I'll select on choose connection method and select on the connect using MongoDB Compass option. Next, I'll copy the connection string and add it to the dbconfig file back in VS Code. Make sure to add the password that was generated for the database user. Next, I'll navigate to the server.js file. After the token get function, I'll check if the node environment is equal to production. If true, I'll call the app use function, passing the express static function which requires the path to the client build folder as a parameter. I'll then call the app get function, passing the path as the first parameter and the callback function as the second. I'll then call the response send file function which requires the path to the index.html file in the client build folder. Next, in the package.json file in the scripts, I'll add the start script, which will call node server.js and the Heroku post build script, which will change directory into the client folder and call npm install and npm run build. Next, we need to navigate to the client folder and build the React app. I'll open the terminal and change directory into the client folder. I'll then call npm run build. Once that's done, we can check in the client folder to see if the build folder was created. Next, we need to remove all the backend URL calls since the server is not running on the local host 8080 URL. I'll navigate to the viewer functions page in the viewer folder. In the on geometry loaded function, I'll remove the backend URL in the axios get function. I'll also remove the backend URL from the get selection axios patch function. Since we need to send a GET request to get the viewer access token, back in the client folder in the OAuth page, I'll also remove the backend URL. Now, the next step would be to host the app on Heroku. First, we need to install the Heroku CLI. I've added a link to the documentation in the description. Once we've installed the CLI, the next step would be to log into the Heroku account. 
Back in VS Code, I'll open the terminal and log into Heroku. I'll copy the URL to the Jacobian Dev Chrome profile. I'll then select on Login. Back in VS Code, we can see that I've successfully logged in. Next, I'll initialize a new repo. I'll then add all the items to the repo. I'll then commit the changes. Next, I'll create an app on Heroku named Revit Mongo React. Once the app has been created, I'll check if a remote has been set for the app. I'll then call git push Heroku master to push the app to Heroku. Once that's done, I'll navigate to my Heroku personal apps profile and refresh the page. Here we can see the newly created Mongo Revit React app. I'll proceed to open the app. Here we can see that the model was successfully loaded. Next, we need to add the Heroku app URL to the MongoDB Revit plugin. I'll copy the app URL and add it to the base URL cloud string constant. I'll then change use cloud server from false to true. Next, I'll run the plugin. I'll select Always Load to load the plugin. I'll open the Cloud DB project. In the Jacobian Dev tab, I'll export the DOOR data. Back in the browser, I'll refresh the app. And we can see that it updates with the door finish values. I'll then select on one of the doors to update the door finish. After the app reloads, we can see the updated door finish. That should be it for the series. Please leave any questions in the comments. Also do like, share and subscribe.